when we designed our ruler foot, we wanted it to be able to be stitching a quarter inch from the edge of the foot in all directions, giving us a stitch line a quarter inch from our templates. So our foot measures a half inch all the way round. I'm going to show how easy it is to fit the foot. This is my Husqvarna machine. It is a short shank machine. If you're not sure of whether you have a short shank or a high shank machine, we do have a diagram on our blog and on our website. But what we are measuring is the centre of the hole with the foot at its lower pos lowest position. We want to be measuring half an inch to the needle plate. If it is a high shank machine, it will measure one inch to the centre of that foot. To attach the foot, simply remove the foot on your machine. Now we will take our ruler foot and place it over the bar and then using the screw, attach. My ruler foot is now attached. To quilt I want my foot to be floating just above the fabric. So to adjust the height, which is really easy because we have our foot with an adjustment to it, we can lift it up and down just by loosening and tightening the screw and lifting the foot up, tightening it again. To adjust it to the correct height, what I will do is lower my presser foot. I want my fabric to slide gently under that foot. I may, depending on the thickness of my quilt, want to come down a little bit closer or bring it up a little bit higher and it is simply just loosen the screw, lift or lower that foot. Once I've got it in the right position, I'm ready to sew. Firstly, a couple of points, I like to tighten that foot with a screwdriver. We can only finger tighten so far. The next thing, because this foot is higher than our standard feet, we need to be aware that we cannot have our needle down and our foot raised. So every time we want to raise the presser foot, we will bring our needle up and now we can raise our foot. Because as we lower, and I'm going to turn the machine by hand just to lower that needled bar down, it will actually collide with the foot. And this is because of the height of the ruler foot. So always when you're using your ruler foot, remember to make sure that the needle is always raised when we raise the foot. A little bit of information about templates. Traditionally our templates have been made in 6mm or quarter inch acrylic and when we use them on a domestic machine whether it is a high shank or a low shank 6mm acrylic will not go around the back of the machine. I can use them to the front but I can't use them behind. If I'm working on something where I'm working inside a template, my template's going to collide with the shaft that holds the foot. So 6mm is not suitable for working with domestic machines. We make a large range of templates. This is one of our spin effects tools. They come in a number of shapes and sizes. The measurement is five and a half inches. That means it will measure from the outside of a circle going around it at five and a half inches. It has a key and the key helps so that you can stitch and then if you want to continue stitching you do not have to break the thread. You can actually take the key out, move the template away to a different position or do free motion without breaking your threads. This is one of our Circles on Quilts wreath templates. We have a pin which goes through our quilt and our template is located to the quilt on that pin. We can then stitch around the inside of our template and just rotate that template being located on that pin and we can complete a full circle wreath pattern.